here with another card. <laughs> I'm uh, popping in every week now <laughs> because I so love to make uh, cards for you. This time I've made a forest scene, of course, I love forest scenes, you know, uh, but this time with some uh, tulips uh, because this is my second card in my series uh, Easter Magic and the tulip is the typical Easter flower, isn't it? I made some tree trunks, a lot of highlights. It's very shiny and it's very bright colored and I really, really like this uh, piece. It's kind of a big piece, but you can make it smaller if you like. So let's start with having a look at the uh, materials. Let's uh, see the uh, stamps I've used uh, first. There's quite a few stamps this time. Uh, I've used the Tree Den LAV642, this um, small uh, lily, lily uh, small lily flourish, flour flourish, flourish, <laughs> sorry, bellflower mini, the forest the moss, this, that's uh, the new one from the last um, uh, release, and this play, uh, bellflower wine. I just used some of the uh, smaller one on, on this, just to make some variation in the uh, tulips. And then the wildflower, <coughs> oops, sorry, and also the silhouette foliage set. I've used this one, uh, that's the same as the wildflower in this uh, foliage uh, set. And my watercolor paper, as usual, 300 GSM uh, cold press, and this piece is 16 times 21 uh, centimeters. You do need to use uh, kind of a heavy paper, but you don't need 300 GSM if you don't uh, have it, of course. My watercolor swatch, as usual, uh, I've bought some new Daniel Smith uh, watercolors. We don't get the, the, we don't have Daniel Smith here in Norway, so I've, I bought it online and I, I've been dying to try uh, Daniel Smith. It says it's really, really good watercolors and I, this is the first time I'm going to try it. And just for the swatch, they seemed really, really nice, actually. I've done the uh, purple... Uh, uh, and the uh, pink on the uh, flowers. I also have some Winston Newton, uh, lemon yellow, sap green, indigo, paint grey, burnt umber and of course, as usual, my white uh, <laughs> gouache. The background this time is a spray background and I've taken out uh, some blues, some uh, 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 lilac and some uh, violet. The color wash uh, vo uh, violet is uh, a very dark uh, violet. My uh, versifying clays, uh, rainforest, uh, verdant and uh, shady lane and also um, uh, morning mist. For some edging of the card, I've used some Distress uh, inks. I've used uh, Wilted Violet and this uh, Black uh, Soot. I've also taken out uh, a few pan pastels, uh, this uh, Pearlescent Yellow and the Titanium White, and also two pink ones. Uh, the, one, uh, the one is called uh, Magenta, uh, Magenta Tint and the other one is uh, Permanent Red Tint. I just uh, took them out, both of them, because I, I wanted to see the difference between them, because I, it can't be a lot of difference between them, actually, because they're so similar. Uh, my applicators and my finger daubers and uh, my uh, uh, acrylic um, gold uh, paint, of course, are, uh, I've etched, etched the card with this, and some metallic poscas and also a white and a yellow uh, posca. I've used several pens this time. Uh, this uh, gold, of course, I have to have my gold. Uh, a pink and a, a violet and also the white one are from Uniball. And I love this uh, uh, yellow one from Pilot. I do love that for the uh, highlights. Uh, I've also used a uh, quickie glue and some uh, uh, purple uh, bling uh, to finish the card off. And of course my brushes. I've taken out my sable uh, brushes 
this very fine <coughs> oops sorry this very fine one and a, and a little uh, bigger one and uh, that's uh, it no more uh, uh, supplies so not many supplies but uh, there is a few uh, I do hope you will uh, join me in making this uh, card. Let's uh, start. My paper is as usual, a watercolor paper, 300 GSM, cold press, and this piece is 16 times 21 centimeters. Uh, I will put on some music now and I will talk to you later. Uh, enjoy the uh, tutorial. See you!
okay just me now you can see why i needed to do this uh, uh, purple uh, colors when i did the background just to have the trees have something to to stand on <laughs> that was it just a bit little bit of landscaping <laughs> back to the music
So, all finished. I've matted it with some uh, black uh, uh, paper and as you can see the gold um, I, the gold I edged it with uh, is uh, really really showing uh, showing now. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed it, this uh, tutorial. It's my usual uh, kind of messy style but uh, I do love the colors. I do need some colors now because I'm so so tired of all the snow in Norway. We still have like two meters outside and it's all gray and cold and we have to use the fireplace all the time. Anyways, if you have anything you wonder about, please don't hesitate, PM me always, I will answer you and I do hope you will give it a go. And for now, have a beautiful week, do some art, have some fun, try something new and I will see you next week for another tutorial. It will also be uh, uh, Easter themed but uh, totally different from uh, this one. So for now, uh, now guys, bye bye, see you next time, bye! Isn't life so amazing? Sometimes it can get crazy but hey that's okay We've got another day to make mistakes and say sorry There's no sense in our worry Cause all we can do is try our best to make it through with love